Welcome back to the So Blessed channel guys. Today we are going to be making chicken fajitas. Quick and easy recipe. These are some of the ingredients that I am going to use. And then also a red pepper that's not shown here. Let's start by making the yellow rice. Follow the instructions on the back of the package. Um, pretty easy, three and a half cups of water. And then we're gonna also add some olive oil, about two tablespoons should do it. Um, but like I said, use the instructions that are on the back of your package. We're gonna get this to boiling, and then we're gonna add the ingredients from the package, which is the seasoning and the rice. I'm sure you've made this probably thousands of times. Pretty easy to do. Put the lid on that and let it do its thing, or you can use a rice cooker. So now we're gonna start by sauteing the chicken. Add a tablespoon or so of olive oil into your frying pan, your wok, whatever pan you're gonna use, and get that stir fried a bit. And look at the sizes here, just to give you an idea. The thinner you cut it, the quicker it's gonna cook. So of course, we're just gonna use one layer here so that we can make sure we get an even cook on these pieces of chicken. So don't try to overcrowd your pan. You can always empty this and um, start your second round. But you wanna make sure that you cook the chicken all the way through, which means there's no pink showing. Okay, here's my second batch. I'm just gonna stir to fry that up real good. Then I add my sliced onions. And as you can see, it's picking up all that flavor from the bottom of the pan. I added also a red pepper that I kind of julienned or sliced here. And we're gonna saute that together. And again, it's picking up some of the flavor from the chicken that we previously sauteed and we'll let that cook down for about three minutes and then we'll add in the chicken that we cooked previously and stir fry all of that together. That's gonna to give the chicken a little bit of flavor. I'm not gonna add any seasoning at this point because we're gonna use that McCormick fajita season pack and we're not sure what's in that. And so we don't wanna add any salt or pepper at this point until we know the flavor that we're gonna get from that season pack. Okay, so very easy here. And now here's the season pack. We're just gonna put that in a bowl and add probably about one fourth of a cup of water. Um, if you get a little bit more, it doesn't matter. It's gonna steam off in the pan anyway, leaving behind the seasoning. So we're just gonna give that a good whisk. You can use a fork, whatever. Just don't wanna leave any lumps or clumps behind. Um, so stir it up real good. And then we're just gonna add that straight to the pan. Um, doing this one-handed here so you don't see some of it I'm cutting out but I went back and took a spoon and got the rest of that good seasoning out of that bowl of course I didn't leave any behind but then you just want to once you add that season pack you want to give it a good stir and um, just let it simmer down until most of the water has evaporated. And then also in this process, what the water does is kind of steam the chicken and make it a little bit tender. Let's check our rice. Yes, that's looking good. We're gonna let it cook a little bit more and dry out just a bit more. Um, we're gonna check this. Yes, it's simmering pretty good. Like I said, we want most of that moisture to come out. So we'll leave that for a little bit, come back check it doing pretty good you see the peppers and the onions are um, cooking down quite a bit you see most of the water has evaporated and it's left the season you can actually see the seasoning now on the chicken and the peppers and the onions and we're just gonna give that a good stir 
let it cook down a little bit more. Checking the rice again, that looks about right. Um, you can see how the oil has helped the grains here to separate quite a bit so you don't have sticky, clunky rice. Um, that's looking pretty good. You could let it dry out just a little bit more if you want. Just kind of halfway put the lid on and let it sit and turn the heat off. Now we're going to start with our black beans. We put just about a couple of tablespoons of olive oil in there. You can use any kind of oil that you have. Vegetable oil, canola oil. Um, just a matter of taste. I usually use olive oil so I have that on hand. I'm going to add some cumin, probably about a good tablespoon, and I'm going to add also about a half a tablespoon of sugar. Um, and what sugar does is kind of balances out the flavors. I'm sauteing these onions. That's probably about a half an onion there. Then I'm going to drain off the liquid from the black beans, and then I'm using this whole can of black beans. Yes, I am, because I love black beans. Pour that into the pot with the sauteed onions, the cumin, and I also added some salt and pepper. Here, give that a good stir, pulling those sauteed onions from the bottom of the pan, mixing up pretty good, because we really are using the onions to season the beans. Put a lid on that, let it cook down, and you see how it's created some additional liquid here. So now it's time to plate this. We got our chicken fajita, our yellow rice, and our black beans. Quick and easy dish to make. I hope you enjoy. Please remember to subscribe, like, comment, and share. And have a wonderful day. Goodbye, guys.